Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Void Rot. Last time we left off, we were over here and uh, don't really know what I want to do. Um, we were told to fill the vats over here. I don't know if that's important though, so let's try going up here. Maybe it connects up to the obsidian observatory or we get more surface. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We will see. So, all the way up here. Go away. And out of here. Bye bye. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna try going all the way up at this spot. Okay, I did make that. Didn't think I did. Uh huh. All right. So here. Can I do it? I'm thinking probably. Probably is my hypothesis. Now that I have uh, unstable nuclei. Yeah, I'm thinking I can. Um, so that was the wrong button. And up. Okay. So let's just go this way. Die. Thank you. And then I can go up here. <clears throat> All right. New area. Uh, do I want to go up here? Possibly. God, this room goes, huh? It really goes. Goodbye. Ow. Stop that. Go away. Go away. Uh. Ooh. Oh. Huh? The void, huh? Ooh. Ooh, um... Growth? Wow, things look great over here. Um, also I realized there's like a lot of, uh... <clears throat> of these I didn't do. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to remember which ones... Fetid Stim. The unspeakable rituals enacted within the court as the city fell are believed to have spawned the tormented flora that now haunts its halls. Oblivious to its surroundings, it wanders without purpose, leaving a trail of festering toxin in its wake. Of the sculptures created by the light of the Red Star, these giant beings of rock and seared flesh remain the mightiest. Roaming the surface with rigid, purposeful strides, they display only bestial intelligence, clashing with others of their kind and struggles for dominance. I think I've read that one. <clears throat> I know there were more. Nymph. Gift of life, unwanted. Innocence of young is easily... No, not that one. Protector? I think that was new. Commissioned by the royal house, these creations were not artifice, but merely as a means... Not merely as a means of protection, but as a force of subjugation. No, I read that one too. This one. Anomalies remained a common occurrence within the observatory after the opening of the first gate. They were considered but a planar byproduct until they began to react to the flows of the void. <coughs> hmm. What else? Shambler. Many were crushed as the city fell, their mangled remains buried atop one another beneath the stone. Their form dead all heed the whispers of the light, shambling forth in a horrifying joining of flesh. Um... Wondrous is the power of the gods, from their dead husks, the symbiotic ichor flowed, coalesced, and slowly reformed into new semblances of life, independent of their divine hosts. Okay, I think that's it. Wow, things look great over here. Um, I can't see shit, Captain. Okay. The Lost Gardens. We're on the other end now. <clears throat> that was, uh, wild. So a little bit of the void is hanging out here. It's also a very trippy effect it's doing. Go away, you. Uh, maybe I should go up here and heal. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, I gotta go drop off my salt receptacle. That's right, I forgot about that. Die. Thank you. And that is definitely something we need to do. Goodbye. Hello. Doesn't really look like too much of interest over here. Well, there's definitely a lot of stuff to do in this area. Got him. There's just a ton of stuff going on. Um. Huh? Up in there. How? <clears throat> Okay, this leads down here, which might be important for me. I wonder if this is where I get my grappling hook. Maybe. Oh, hey, this leads back down to here. Oh. Um. Not super. Whoop. Well, I might have wanted that, actually. And there's another fast travel point. Cool. Alright, that is handy. Um, let's go get the salt receptacle just in case this is a boss fight that I'm about to walk into. It, uh, seems like a good idea. So, uh, the shrine. <clears throat> when I start up my game, by the way, it still says I'm only 33% of the way. Which is shocking to me. I don't know if that percentage is map completion or item completion, but... We will see. Hmm. Awaken. May it serve you well. There we go. Alright, you... Don't think you have anything I can get still. Yeah, I need just way more ichor. God, it's... Pretty hard to pull off. Pretty hard to pull off. Excavate. I don't think I can even afford any of these, really. Eh, there's a collapsed passage. I'll get that. I'm using up all the, like, really cheap ones. <clears throat> which is thus making it so I never have enough money for any of the more expensive ones, but... Money does feel really, really hard to come by in this. Like, uh, Icker is... hard... to get a lot of. Maybe once I start doing some more, like, proper exploration and stuff, but, like, enemies just don't drop a lot of it. I still only have, like, two passive benefits, too, and it feels like I'm pretty far along in the game. Um... But, you know. Uh... Can I just, um... Climb up this way, please? Because what I want is just right up here. There it is. Give me that, please. Thanks. Okay, that's a jump needed. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, you're new. A botanist. Okay, botanist is down. So this is, yeah, like the second half of this area, basically. Whew. Alright, botanist. What do you have for me? Intricate is the process of cultivation, and even more so, the careful implantation of seed into willing flesh. Uh-huh. Hello... is that a...? That's not an opening over there, I don't think. I thought maybe. But now I'm not sure. Ow. Ow. So that knocks you out of that. Yep, you're up in the air. Oh, hey, another devotee. <clears throat> there you go. Bang. Alright, good stuff. And this goes to right here. Um, which leads me to something. I'm gonna have to head back up there in a second, though. 
Another artifact fragment. I already have so many of these. <clears throat> That's why I was kind of shocked that the uh, Golden Emporium sells those for Icker, because I have like a billion of those things. Icker is what I'm struggling to get. You know? Like, that's the- that's the problem. Crystalline Lens forces a destru- or focuses a destructive horizontal beam that lights enemies on fire. That seems fun. Oh, hey. And I could have got that Envoy that way, too. Neat. Alright, um... Definitely heading back up this way, because it's the fastest way to get back up here. Well, let's just climb. Climb, 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 climb. This is a fun ability. Uh, it definitely feels like it breaks a lot of the platforming, just because of how good it is. Um, but that might be intended once you get this ability, you're meant to just be able to kind of do whatever. So it might be an intentional choice to just have this be really, really good once you get it. Obviously, like I said, we do still need the grappling hook for some things. But this definitely solves a lot of our upward mobility problems. What did I... I had another door somewhere. I don't remember what it was. I feel like if anything, I would have marked it as... The other thing? I'm gonna start marking the doors with that. This. That means, oh, it's a locked door. Because, uh, obviously, I don't need to mark, um, if I need to wiggle into something now. I swear if that unlocks it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a fool. It's fine. Alright, where are you? More of this area. This is, like, the biggest area in the game. Um. Uh... Um, there are two different types of wasps, too, by the way. I gotta keep track of that. Oh my god. So many. Oh my god. I really didn't think I was gonna win that. <laughs> we were down to three hits. Whew. Okay. Black Wasp. Before the first Black Wasp ha hatched beneath the light of the Red Star, the gardens bloomed and all- Well, no, no, that's- So it must just be a palette swap of this thing. I thought it was a different type of wasp, the palette swap. Did we get a name for that enemy? No, it wasn't a herald, so. Masked in the Red Star's light across innumerable centuries, the observatory remains the sole structure able to reach beyond the ice. Once a beacon of prosperity, it now stands as a derelict testament to the technological achievements of our distant past. From it, the sisters and their following watched the black sky, staring into the darkness between the stars. In the emptiness, something stirred, and like minds took notice. Then the observatory, they tore open the first gate, artificing wonders that sang in tune to the void. Yet, such careless exposure does not come without risk, and beings not native to our world have since overtaken its umbral halls. How does one begin to fathom the space between all worlds? The counterbalance to the known, the endless expanse bordering the real, its vast nothingness lingers on in perpetuity, unchanged. Yet within lay the key to our ascension, or so we believed. Guided by unseen hands, we pursued salvation from the trappings of our mortal shells, how foolish we were. The void is not for us, for it is our opposite. A realm of the unrealized and unmade, a cage for whispering dead gods. While our great achievements allowed us to channel some of its flows for our benefit, only those not of our world may truly pass beyond its dark veil. Huh. I mean, I passed through it. I don't know if I would say I passed beyond its dark veil, but I did pass through it. I was gonna say, is this an ability? That was like a proper boss fight. In Tozun Sack. What does that do? 
Ah, uh, <laughs> it's my grappling hook. While airborne, latch on the nearby hooks, breaching chasms and avoiding obstacles. Oh my god, we got it. Um, where is that boss? It had to be like a nest of some sort. Like a big nest. Because it was like a mini boss, basically. Not, It wasn't a herald. That was scary, though. I thought I was going to die. It must be listed here, right? No. Yeah, no, I haven't even discovered a new enemy. Hmm. Okay. I, I guess it was just a black wasp nest. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty good feeling grappling hook, too. It's, like, pretty instant. You have a little bit of control over yourself in the air. Okay. I'm happy with that. I don't need to be here. All right, get me out. Whew, all right, new ability. That will allow me to do quite a few things. So that was what we were looking for all this time. I didn't feel like as proper stuck as I have in a lot of other games before with that. Like, I still had a lot of map to explore, basically. A lot of the times I had in a Metroidvania, when you do get stuck, it's like, oh my god. Literally every single path is barred off except for one, but I still had a lot of places to explore. The map is huge in this game. I am still really liking it, too. I do think it's very weird that I haven't gotten more of the, um, like, little passive things, but maybe I've just been looking in the wrong spots. I would have three if I had bought the one from the shopkeeper, but I haven't yet, so. Get me up there and up there. Let's see, what's in here first? Ooh, didn't wait for my cooldown. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm glad I checked. Warp hook. Manifest a hook that can be targeted by the tendril? Once humble tools, some wanders remain, having been exposed to the void when the first gate was torn apart. What? Tendril? Are you talking about this thing? Oh my god. Really? I can spawn a hook anywhere? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Um, huh. That's a really unique and important relic. Because it's good for platforming, too. And you just swap it on when you need it. Weird. Huh. I mean, cool, like I said. Um. Hmm. How does one, uh. Go away. All of you, all of you leave me be. I'm trying to solve a puzzle over here. So, how do I get to you, friend? Looks from over here to the right? Ah, there's a portal in there. In the wall. I see that. Okay, that's weird. Don't know how to get to that. Open up. God, I love Metroidvanias. So satisfying. I haven't played like a Souls-like one in a while. This one isn't quite a Souls-like, I would say. This is definitely more like a... A Castlevania. Um, but I do want to play a um, Souls-like one again at some point. I think there's one releasing sometime soon. Might be an early access one, though. And in that case, I wouldn't want to play it yet. I do think Ender Magnolia releases kind of soon. Like, fully. Oh. Oh, that's, that's it for this room. I do like how you can do this while ledge grabbing. It's quite nice. Okay. That has been acquired. We can get back over here. And I can go up there. I can get rid of that now. Well. I mean, things are, things are going. I see you. I, I didn't see the last time I came through here, apparently, but I did this time. Uh, 
There we go. Really glad I finally have this ability. This will make my platforming ventures even better. Hello. I didn't notice you last time either. Hi. More void? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. It's dead. Good. What is happening up here? I guess I could have just avoided the enemies with that. Oh, there is an item up there. I need to be able to swim, though. Um. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Get out of there. Huh. Alright. Heal me up. Yeah, that poison hurts a lot. Get over here, I dare ya. I'll slash you through the wall. Uh huh. Get out of here, you. Uh huh. Gotcha. Woo. Kind of spooky. Now I gotta make it past these things without dying. Ooh. Didn't know there was another one up there. I was like, oh, I don't see the one. I'm safe. Go, 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 go. Okay. Whew. I need a heal. And I'm not getting one. Okay, there's another thing in here. That's, uh, not ideal. And another one over here. Can I transition to, like, a new room? Thank you, because, yeah. Alright. I can go up from here. I can also go that way, though. Uh, I might not be able to get to that from here. God, there's a whole lot of swimming needed in this area. Huh. God, okay. Big zone. At least I'm, at least I'm finding a lot of new map bits today. Oh my god, this entire zone is just like a morph ball tunnel. That's all it is. Okay. Going up here. Ooh, okay. Okay, you're going up there. I'm gonna go in here. Bye bye. Jeez. Oh, HP, thank you. That's actually phenomenal. Okay. So get up there. Now, a devotee? Whoops. Here you go. More devotees. Ow. Eat that. Alright, we're good. So, what's in here? More void? More void. Okay. And then I can go down one more room. Don't know exactly what this does. Or how helpful it is. Does it even get me access to anything new? Not really, it looks like it just has... Enemy. Is there nothing in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm going back into the void, I guess. And we'll see where that takes me. Uh-huh. Yeah, did I look at growths? Did I do that? Because I did see those. They're not actually added into the list, despite being listed as an enemy. 
Huh. That is weird. Because they are definitely listed as an enemy. I know I killed one, too. More Lost Gardens, my god. Whole lot of void in the Lost Gardens. They love the void over here. Uh-huh. I mean, that was probably useful for something. Oh, this is probably how I get that one through the wall that I found, that switch. I probably just do this attack, because it has, like, slightly higher range. That must be it. Is there any reason to go... Don't know about right now. One sec. Let's go up here. Sneaky sneak around you. But yeah, there was another lever where I was like, I don't know how to get this lever. And it was, it was this, I think. I just had to cling to that wall and get up there. And I could probably smack it. Well, now we know at least. Okay, this isn't a wall I can break? No. Alright. What's in here? We're back here. Okay, what's down here then, just to make sure. What do you have for me? There's also a place over there to the left. Map is large. Uh, nothing really here. Okay. Uh, none of that, please. Let's check this out. Break, please. Thank you. Ooh, more water needed. Okay. I mean, it's not technically water. It's some sort of mysterious liquid, more like. God, this place is huge. Okay, and this goes over here. More water needed. There we go. Alright, I'm here now. Well, I don't need that anymore. Well, I might want to leave that just in case. Hey everyone, it's me, your friend. Alright. Okay, this just takes me back to where I went through the void. Right. What was down here, though? At the bottom and to the right. Because I never went here. What do you have for me? God, this whole place. There's just... There's just so much to keep track of and everything. Uh-huh. Ow. Ugh. Ow. Um. Whoop. Why did I kill that thing? There was no point. Ugh. Alright. Nothing up. There's one of you. I don't think I want to fight you, friend. Need to make sure I go back over there, though. Don't mind me, I'm just scuttling by. I screwed it up. Okay, you tried. I'm sorry, though. Just want to get up here. Thanks. Alright. So something opened up up there. We'll be back to that in just a moment. God, this video is already going longer than I would like it to, but... Well... Ow! Okay, more of that needed. 
<clears throat> and soon I will die. I will expire. Huh. At least most of the enemies are dead. Okay. What's in here? Items. Ow! I did not mean to dash that direction. Are you dead? <gasps> You're dead! Uh, we've done it! Oh, that needs one of those. No, we need the purple thing. Oh wait, no we don't. Wait a second. Never mind, that's probably not useful. That's probably just breaking that wall to get in there. Yeah, it sure is. Still doesn't change the fact you can't get in there, though. Okay. <sighs> I am so dead. I'm super dying. I thought that was a that was a hang. <laughs> well, I was right. I did die. Okay, though. God, look at how much we cleaned up here, though. This area is huge. All right, so we just need to make it back up there. Um, I'm gonna put this down as, uh... What do I want to put that down as? Um... <clears throat> That's a... I'm gonna put the purple eyes, because it's void. And if I connect the two, I'll know, like, oh yeah, that's a void portal thing. Hopefully. I'm, I'm counting on you, me, so... Huh, <sighs> alrighty. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.